Greetings everyone. So how's your day today? Napakaulan no? Uh, sa amin dito, grabe yung hangin. I hope that you're all safe and that you're doing well. Kahit na medyo maulan at medyo mabagyo. May bagyo ba? Uh, I hope that you're having sunshine. Kung hindi man sa labas, but in your life. And that sunshine is God. And today, we will continue our series about God heals. No? It's our journey to God. So we begin our journey with God and um, When we, when we began our journey, the first thing that God gave us or the first thing that God saw us, uh, showed us, is His power. And that He said that He will fight for us. Now, as we read yesterday on verse on chapter 15, no? sinasabi naman niya in verse 26, that I am the Lord who heals you. Now He will heal us. And with this said, our topic or our series for this week is in line with the word heals. Okay, so yesterday we talked about the letter H. What does He heal? He heals our hearts. Una muna yung puso natin. Kasi dito nang gagaling lahat. Emotion, lahat-lahat. If God will not heal our hearts, then we will not be directed to the right path. Dahil mali pa rin yung puso natin. If mali ang puso natin, then mali na yan lahat. Do you agree? Kasi, ang puso natin na nagdi-determine ng actions natin o ng mga bagay-bagay sa atin. If mali yan, mali ang intensyon natin at mali yung puso natin, then we will not be right with God. Remember that God looks at our hearts, not at what we're doing. Oh, bakit ganun? Di ba may fruits of the Holy Spirit? Yes. Because of the fruits of the Holy Spirit comes from the heart. It springs from the heart. And kaya nagkakaroon ng magandang fruits kaya nagkakaroon ng magandang kinalalabasan dahil tama ang puso. And that's because Jesus is in our hearts. So today, as we continue our series, bago natin basahin ang ating verse, pray muna tayo. Father in heaven, we praise and thank you for today. Thank you Lord for for um, keeping us safe. Although there's a, a typhoon yata Lord, napakalakas ng hangin sa labas, napakalakas ng ulan. But Lord, I know um, um, all of these were planned out by you. Some of us are afraid, may pandemic na nga, may bagyo pa. Some of us are skeptic on if you're a great God, then why you why do you allow this? Lord, unless we come near to you, unless we really find and seek the answers from you, we will not get those answers. We can create our own answers on what's going on. But Lord, you're the only one with the perfect answers to this. Help us to draw near to you. And as we draw near your throne, Lord, clean us from every trespasses that we've done. Heal our hearts. Heal our sins. And today, Lord, heal us from the pain that our enemies have done to us. Help us to regain our footing in our life. Help us to be on the right track towards you. Lord, let it be you who will be speaking today. And let us learn what it is that you want to say. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Well, our verse for today is found in Exodus Chapter 20, 23, verse 22. So, basahin natin, ano? Sorry, wala akong salamin pala. Medyo maano. Um, If you listen carefully to what he says and do all that I say, I will be an enemy to your enemies and will oppose those who oppose you. Wow. What a great promise. All of us doesn't want enemies. Sino ba sa ating gusto dito na may kaaway siya? Pero lang kung talagang basagulero ka, no? Kahit, pero kahit yung sino basagulero dyan, gusto pa rin ng peace. May moment sa kanyang mga buhay na ayaw niya na kaaway. In, in our area, sa Mindanao, may mga tinatawa doon na Rido. Redo ba o Rido? Pagka-pronounce nun. Yung tipong uh, damay-damay pamilya. Feud. Walang, ano man, kung sinong, alam ba, magkaaway tayo, kahit pa kaanak-anakan ka, o kahit pa hindi ka, ano, kaaway tayo at patayan talaga. And there are times na pag ganun, these people would like to seek out peace. In their solitude, in their certain, yun sa maliit na lugar, kung saan sila may peace, ang sarap ng feeling nila. I should know. No? Because I have a few friends who, ha- who were like that. Na talagang ubusan ng lahi. Ganon, ganon katindi. Ganon kagrabe yung galit sa puso. And kung hindi man ganon kagrabe ang galit sa puso, 
we have some enemies in our lives na talagang ewan ko ba, parang ganun. Kung bakit pag nakikita ko yung taong yan, nabubisit talaga ako, nasisirang araw ko, ayan na naman ang bagyo. Baka tipong ganun. And sometimes parang gusto natin patawaran, but we can't find it in our hearts to forgive them. Because, why? Because of pride. And God established this from the Israelites. Hindi ibig sabihin na, ah, kailangan maging ma- mayayabang kayo kasi kasama ko kayo. No. Established it through them. Why? Because, when, when kung babasahin natin yung chapter 15, no? people are, um, Moses and the Israelites were singing about how God destroyed the Egyptians. How God destroyed their enemies. In order for them to be able to move forward. Imagine, tandaan nyo, Moses was once a person who went out of Egypt. Gusto siyang patay ni Pero. Tumaka siya sa Egypt, lumilinguling siya sa likod niya, hindi niya alam, baka hinahabol siya. And, gusto mo ba yon? May kaaway ka. Ako, I was like this before. May mga kaaway ako, hindi ko alam kung sino. Or siguro paranoid na lang ako. Pero natatakot ako every time, every, every, um, kung may mga pupuntahan akong lugar. Kailangan may mga kasama ako, kailangan may mga kakilala ako. Kasi kung ako lang mag-isa, baka bigla akong mabugbog, baka bigla akong masaksak, o baka bigla may mangyari masama sa akin. That's because I created enemies in my life. And how good it is that God promised that if we listen to Him, if we do as He says, He will be an enemy to our enemies. The healing process that God made was first the hearts and now the enemies. Kasi, you can't move forward, you can't go to the destination where you want to be or where God wants you to go if you have enemies. If yung mga enemy mo, natatakot ka. And this, God assured them na hindi kayo kailangan matakot kung sino man yung mga kalaban. Kasi meron eh. Hindi natin matatanggal yan. Dito lang sa trabaho natin, dito lang sa ano natin, baka may mga kapitbahay tayo na iinis sa atin. Hindi natin masabi eh. Pero, the great thing about God promising us that He will heal us from our enemies is that we don't have to worry about our enemies. When David became king, before he became king, his enemy was the king. <laughs> Kita nyo? His enemy was, with the, was the king, King Saul. But what did God do to him? He sheltered him from Saul. He, God actually delivered Saul to him many times. Doon sa cave, dapat napatay na niya siya, pero hindi niya ginagawa ito. Why? Because he feared God. Remember this, that when we have enemies, it's not us who should be fighting. It should be God fighting for our enemies. Kasi what God wants to do with our enemies is glory. Hindi na sirain sila, patayin sila, o kung ano man ang gawin. But God, what will God do to them is that they will realize that because you have God in your life, na kahit pa sila ang nakasakit sa'yo, sila ang nakagawa ng masama sa'yo, pag nakita nila si Jesus, nakita nila ang kagandahan na meron ka dahil kay Kristo, sila ay hindi mo na magiging kaaway, ba't kakampi mo na? At babaguhin ng Diyos ang kanilang pananaw sa'yo. They may have seen you as someone who's very arrogant, who's very, talaga nakakabwisit yung taong yan. But when they see the change in you, Nakita nila na si Kristo na namumuhay sa'yo, mababagong perspective nila. And pag nabagong perspective nila, instead of killing you, they will be praising God because of you. That's why God heals our enemies. We can't, if you continue to have this enemy, if you continue to, talagang tuloy lang, wag tayo ituloy natin na magalit lang tayo sa kanila, wag natin sila surrender kay God, hayaan natin sila. What will happen is, we can't go to the throne where God wants us to go. We can't live a life in accordance to the will of God if we continue have this, to have these enemies. Anong sabi ni, John, uh, anong sabi ni um, Jesus in Matthew? Love our enemies. So, if we continue to have this grudge against our enemies, against those people who, who have um, uh, pained us, who destroyed us, who gave us heartaches, then how can we love them? It's very easy to love people who love us, but it's very hard to love our enemies. That's why this promise of God became a reality. And sabi niya, if you listen to me, 
Sundin mo lang ako. Huwag mo sila alalahanin. Ako bahala sa iyo. I will make them your en- uh, I will make your enemy will be my enemy. Kasi gusto ni God to make them his sons and daughters. Lahat gusto ng Diyos. Jesus, remember this. Jesus didn't die for you. Just for you. He didn't die just for me. He died for everyone. So this includes our enemies. Yung mga kinakagalitan natin, yung mga nakasakit sa atin. Kaya nga, in the path of healing, we should stop and love our enemies. That's the healing process. If if we cannot love our enemies, then we cannot go. Tinan nyo, bakit ko sinasabi that to love our enemy? Even if they, God destroyed the Egyptians. Before they were destroyed, the Egyptians really knew that God is fighting for them now. They feared God and they realized that God is the true God. You see, what may have happened, if it's not, it may not have been written on the Bible, but what may have happened is, I can recall, basilan sa sarili kong perspective, that when the Egyptians heard about the Israelites, they believed the God that the Israelites are serving. And it became the glory of God. Even though they were destroyed, it's just an example of the power of God. Kaya pinakita, it was all planned out by God. Diba? Sabi nga ni God, dito mo gawin, eto gawin mo, ganun-ganun. Sinabi niya in chapter 14, pinagawa niyo kay Moses. Why? Because he wants to show glory. Hindi man sa mga taong to, but to other people. We only know to follow God. That's what He just wants us to do, to follow Him. And He said that to love our enemies. So kung meron tayong mga kaaway, kung meron tayong mga nakaka, nakasakit pa sa atin na hindi natin kayang patawarin, let's give it all to God. And He will be the one who will heal our enemies. Minsan kasi parang gusto natin gumante. Gusto natin lumaban. Gusto natin silang makita na nagihirap. Gusto natin makita sila na mabuti nga sa'yo. Diba? Doon sa mga, pansinin nyo to, doon sa mga tao na mahal mo, pag may ginawa sila isang bagay na kahit hindi tama, you defend them, mahal pa rin natin sila. Pero yung mga enemies natin, yung mga kinakagalitan natin, gumawa man sila ng mga tama, sasabihin natin, hmm, plastic. <laughs> diba? Tingin natin sa kanila, is always enemy, they're not doing anything good. Lahat ng tingin natin sa kanila, lahat ng gawin nila ay mali, dahil, Iba ang tingin natin sa kanila. But healing starts when the journey to God begins. If you want to stop in your tracks and you don't want to pursue your journey with God, then don't forget. Don't surrender your enemies to God. But if you want to reach where God is promising us, kasi kapatid, bakit ko sinasabi yan? Unless you have a clean heart, unless you have a heart without enemies. Sabi natin sige, hindi kasi natin sila control. Kung sila galit pa rin sa atin, talagang bisit pa rin sila sa atin, let's just pray for them. We pray to God to take us the pain that we're feeling from our enemies and let's surrender them to God. Na Lord, ikaw na bahala sa aming mga kaaway, sa mga galit pa rin sa amin and pray for them that God blesses them. So hindi man natin magawa kasi ng buong-buo, yung mapakita natin sa kanila. Ang buo natin pagmamahal dahil ayaw nila itong tanggapin. But we could pray to God that 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 we will be used. No? That surrender natin si God and God will be able to change their hearts. As He changed and hardened the hearts of Pharaoh, He can actually change the hearts of our enemies. All we need to do is to, ang sabi niya? If you listen carefully to what He says and do all that I say, I will be an enemy to your enemies and will oppose those who oppose you. Napakaganda ng salita ng Diyos. Now the question is, are you willing to do what God says? Then He said, love your enemies. Do good to those who persecute you. Now, Can you do that? Sa akin, when I was looking at this, ang hirap. But you see, in my times of travel, with God, dahan-dahan ko nang natanggal yung mga puot, yung mga kinasamaan ko ng loob, nawawala siya eh. 
because I surrendered it to God. There are many times, multiple times that I've been rejected. I've been um, b- parang siniraan o kung ano-ano pa. I can't control that. But what we can control is how we react on things. What we can control is our own reactions. And if we surrender all to God, then, my friend, I'll tell you, you need not worry about your enemy because God will deal with them according to how He wants to deal with them. If they are cold, then later on, because of your life, these people will accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior as well because of the blessing that you have shown them. Eh, ganun pala? Kasi, ano ko yan ah, laki ng utang ko dyan, pinatawad ako. Siniraan ko yan ah, sinaktang ko yan ah, pinatawad ako, sa kanya wala na pala. Kapatid, it's our choice. If we want God to be glorified in our lives, or we want other people to see God as just a mockery. We can say that we're following God, pero may mga galit tayo sa ibang tao. Sabi natin that we are um, following God, and yet, galit na galit tayo dun sa mga uh, kasama natin sa bahay na ayaw magbasa ng Bible, na ayaw, na lasinggero pa rin, sugarol pa rin, magnanakaw pa rin. You can't show them hate, but show them love instead. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you for your words. And Lord, truly your words are so deep. And so refreshing. Salamat Panginoon at patuloy kayo nagpapakilala sa amin. Lord, it may be hard for us to forgive our enemies and to, to just let go of those who wronged us. But Lord, we just surrender them all out to you because we want to follow you. Kayo na po bahala sa kanila. Lord, heal our hearts. Heal our enemies then, Lord. Kung we don't know kung the reason why galit sila. Maybe we did something wrong to them then. Lord, let them heal. Pagalingin nyo din po sila. And let all your the glory be for you alone. Lord, use us to be channel of your blessings to others. And Lord, kung meron man pong may mabigat pa rin puso na hindi pa rin kaya magpatawat, Lord, touch that heart. As you forgive us from our sins, let him realize or he let her realize that, Lord. That no one has the right to be angry than you because of our sins. Lord, we give you all the glory and honor for this day. And as we walk through our lives to the journey for you, Lord, help us to know what you want us to do. And just to surrender everything to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, I'm so blessed about this word. No? It's time of healing, my friends. God heals your heart. God heals your enemy. What will he heal tomorrow? God bless you. Stay tuned to our series. Every day, mga gantong oras. Bye-bye and take care.